Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog and today we're gonna spend a week or like three four days with me And I have a couple of things to show you first of all I know that it's like mid-november But we got too excited when we went to El Corte Inglés and we got the biggest Christmas tree that we could find and the cutest Ornament so we're gonna put the tree up today and we're gonna decorate the house a little bit like Christmas And I also want to go to this big Christmas shop that is here in Barcelona So I hope that I can take you hopefully we can also to do some luxury shopping at least window shopping i don't know if i'm gonna buy anything and we also have some updates for my office my only issue is that almost everything is here except for the sofa so i ordered the bags london i think that's the name from ikea and they delayed it so i don't know if it's gonna be here in time for the video but we have the full-size mirror we hung the chandeliers so i'm very excited to show you that one because it looks so good on the bedroom we got the rug and i got a little poof so it's basically gonna be a very cozy area where we have have a little couch with the Elmas pillow, the poof, then the desk and the shelf. So right now it's super early, I don't know if you can hear the bells on the background, but, but I do want to show you something that I just got. So this video is very kindly sponsored by Vivaya and Vivaya makes sustainable shoes. These are made of recycled materials, they are also made with 3D technology. I order four pairs and I think it's gonna be good for me because I usually only wear sneakers and these are loafers and they're very cute shoes, let me show them to you. This are probably my favorite ones they're so comfortable so i order them to use them inside the house but they can for sure be used outside and they are so so comfortable so i'm gonna put b-roll of every shoe i ordered these ones and all the shoes in size 35 or 5 us and they are just so so comfortable most of the shoes i order them in a very similar tone except for one pair these are the round toe loafers and they seem super super comfortable you can see that it has many many details and i really like the color I think it's gonna be great and they seem very flexible and very very comfortable So I think that I'm gonna start using this ones a lot now that I want to change it up a little bit from the sneakers all day every day of the year Except for sometimes boots. These ones are so cute and I know everyone is gonna like this ones But look at this. They are so beautiful and also very very comfortable and the material feels the same It feels very very high quality and I cannot wait to use this. I do have an outfit and specific that I want to wear with them and it's like this beige suit that I have they seem very comfortable so I'm excited to test them out but these are the ones that I ordered just to see how they looked in person because they look quite fun and these are golden retriever loafers and you can see the little dog here so I got this ones to run errands but also to be like inside the house they do have different dog types I think probably even cats these are so cute also super flexible super comfortable I think this would be great to get for Christmas for birthdays or anything like that like it's fun like if you know someone that has a dog and they love their dog so much this is perfect it's crazy to think that each pair of shoes are the reincarnation of six plastic bottles so it's definitely a sustainable brand and they have such amazing and so many designs like if you go to their website or their instagram account i'm gonna link their instagram and their website on the description box down below but you can go check it out and they have so many different styles if you're looking for something different i went for the casual and neutral route but you can for sure find something for you and you can use my discount code lu20 to get 20 percent off it will only be valid during these dates that i'm gonna put on the screen i'm gonna put everything on the description box so you can go check vivaya out and now i also wanted to share like an early birthday present that Amato Daniele sent me. I got this in the mail this morning and... <sighs> I'm so excited to open it. When I went to Milan Fashion Week, I went to visit their factory where they made bags. So if you want to check that out, I would definitely recommend you to go see that vlog. But this is an Italian brand and I became friends with Daniele, who is the designer and owner of the brand. And he was very, very sweet to send this to me. So I wanted to open it on the video. It smells so nice. I have no idea what he sent but it's probably something from the new collection. So I'm very, very excited to see what it is. And it does come with a little card that says, I'm sending you a little present. It's a micro version of a bag we made for Princess Diana in silk satin with a shell ornament covered in real 24 karat gold. Can't wait to see you wearing it. Love, Daniel. This is so sweet. Um, so here is the bag and it's definitely small. I've been loving micro bags so much. I have Paul here and he's very interested to see the bag. <laughs> if you could 
I'm gonna take my phone out so you can see his face. <laughs> so this is the bag. I love the shell details and I it has to be magnetic closure. And this is the inside and it does come with a chain. This is a beautiful night out bag. I'm gonna check if it fits my card holder or credit cards, but this is so, so beautiful. Thank you so much, Daniele. So here we have the ornaments and I'm wearing the slippers. They're super comfy. Do you like the idea of Christmas tree instead of your bed here? We will put your bed in a better spot, I promise. Here comes the dream. I hope that it's not. Oh, <laughs> I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas time. So I'm opening the ornaments and each of them have tags. These are the ones that I got so far. I'm gonna show you every single one of them. I wanted to stick to a color scheme, so this is the first bowl that I chose. I also got this little reindeer set there, so, so, so cute. Since I wanted to stick to browns, gold, and neutrals, I found these ones to be very cute. They look very like natural. I really like that these ones look like a cozy sweater and they have like this gold threading in between. There's a little bit of the progress. I think this is one of my favorites because of the color. Like it's this coffee color type of thing with gold. Cannot wait to see how all of them look together. This is how it's looking. I'm expecting for Masha's bed to come. We order a really cute one from Barney bed. But in the meantime, I put hers here just so she doesn't feel left out. But she does not use it. She is right here. Hey guys, it's the next day. Today it's Friday and we want to go down to the city to some Christmas shops to see if there's anything else that we want to buy. And also I want to see if we can go window shopping. So I do not think that I'm gonna buy anything because I just got in the mail some packages. <laughs> so I will only buy something if I'm like 100% in love with it. But let me show you the outfit of the day. Grabbing the bag. So right now we're having a weird type of weather that if you only wear a shirt, you're cold. But if you wear pants, then it's too hot so i'm gonna be wearing my frankie shop blazer that i have a farfetch haul coming soon i ordered this in a bunch of other stuff this is my medium classic flap a pair of black shorts and a simple white shirt and jewelry is idle in van cleef
did not buy anything. I was very tempted. The only reason why I didn't get any of the Lady Dior's is because I already have a white one. But every one that he kept taking out, it was prettier than the last one. But Polo said that I need to think about it. So we'll see. Right now we're walking to the Christmas shop, but I did not buy anything. If you had to choose one of those three beautiful Lady Dior's, which one would you take? The one with pearls. The pearl one? Yeah, I don't know. I really like the, the biggest one, no, that's the mini. It was very nice, but I think you would get like tired of it. I don't think that I would get tired of that bag, but I do need to think about it before I pull the trigger. I also forgot my subway card, so we have been walking. He's angry because I forgot it. So right now it's been downhill, but going back home, we're probably gonna have to take a cab. the day here but we're watching the crown and we're testing to see if we like the fireplace it's getting a little bit colder so we love this good morning today is monday and i was not able to vlog on saturday or sunday because we didn't get the furniture in but it just got delivered so i'm gonna show you how the office is right now and you're gonna see the progress and we got this little cute couch with a pillow and we also got a mirror that i want to show you i will tell you where we got everything but i'm excited to finally have the complete office space hopefully if i have some time today we're gonna go book shopping but let's get into building the office so this is how the office looks only with a rug and we got the mirror on saturday so i'm gonna show you how it looks now with the mirror so we got this plant for the bedroom in my opinion we do need to change the pot but it makes the space look way way better but this is how it's looking and let me show you some details of the mirror because i love the way that it looks i am gonna link the mirror for the ones that live in europe but i love it because it's massive and from here you can kind of see the chandelier from the bedroom so this is the space where the sofa is going to be so so let's bring it in and we also got this very very beautiful rug i really like the texture and it's like a little bit brownish so i want it to be a little bit warmer for the room and i got an orchid for some reason we got it yesterday and this one is already kind of dying so i need to figure out what's going on and so far this is the chair that i decided to keep this is the other orchid and has been surviving just fine bring it in About the things we said, oh yeah, and maybe we'd be better off being just friends. We're adding the oh, pillow. Yeah. It's getting kind of obvious. This is it. Even the dog is already here. Um, I I think that while I'm working, she's gonna be laying here a lot. And maybe it could even be a nice spot for filming videos. So this is supposed to be like a little space for me to read or maybe edit when I don't want to be on the desk. The little poof that we ordered, I love it. We have two. We have one in the living room and one here. And this one is from West Wing. If I remember correctly, the full-size mirror is from Skloom. And the sofa is from Ikea and it's the Bax Lennon. I wanted to order another color for the cover, but it was sold out in Europe. And I added this white pillow from our home now for the bedroom we did add the chandelier and i just ordered i think four four more yes one for my closet one for here for the office i'm gonna show you how it looks and two for the living room um i got some paper ones from ikea for the guest bedroom that i'm gonna show you right now but so far that has been Somebody else. I've also 
also been kind of thinking about going back to Dior and buying one of the Lady Dior's for my birthday. So I don't know if it's the smartest idea and I already have a white Lady Dior. Like they're not the same, but they're white bags. Even if I were to choose one, which one? Because all of them were so freaking beautiful. I felt so underwhelmed at Chanel. Like I remember that I used to go to the stores and always be like so excited to see bags and really excited to see the new collections and try on things. But lately I've been feeling that when you go to Chanel, you have to say, I'm looking for this item in this size, in this color, in this leather. And they will always say, no, we don't have it. And the things that they showed you, they're way too expensive. Like that pearl mini in the rectangle, that bag was 11,000. And to contrast it with the micro lady Dior that I know that it's not the same, the micro lady Dior was 3,000 with the pearls. It's a crazy difference. Even if I were to go for the limited edition one, the beautiful with the gold details, that bag was 6,000 for me, that's a lot. Chanel prices are all over the place and I just feel like it's not the same going to the store. Like I feel scared to go. I don't feel comfortable. Like I would love to go to the store and film cruise collection, but at Chanel, they don't really let you film. So of course I'm not gonna go and try to do it if it's not okay. But I would love doing it because I love seeing the new bags, but they don't let you film. At the end of the day, are like, yes, for sure, try it on. If you want to take pictures and you can think about it, they're so nice. So I don't know, I just been feeling like this. With Elmas, it's the same as always. Like that hasn't changed. You go to the store, they do not have stuff, but they put you on the wish list. So I think this is going to be it. Next video is gonna be my birthday unboxing. I hope that you guys like the pieces that I got. Really excited to start using them. And I hope that you guys like the sofa, but of course, if you have any recommendations, please do let me know. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and click the notification bell down below so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you're not done, I'm gonna leave you two more right here. Thank you and see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.